This look on 3D printed soup. I like the faceplate on the DualSense controller, but it's a tad dull. Let's brighten it up with some 3D printing. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D printed soup. This week I am going back to the PlayStation 5. I printed out a stand for the PlayStation 5 controller, or the dual sensors it's called, um, a couple of weeks ago, and that turned out really nicely. But with the front face plate on the dual sense being so easy to remove, use a plectrum, don't use a screwdriver, plastic on plastic, never metal on plastic, you'll damage it. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. I thought, hey, let's pop this off, 3D print myself a new face plate. Now, the files are harder to find than I thought. Trying to find these is very difficult. It looks like somebody's just taking them down. Don't know who that could be. I did find one, however, and I have printed this. And we're going to give it a try and see how it looks and whether or not a 3D printed replacement for this is any good. I'm not going to be selling these. I'm not even going to be advertising why I found this file because it's been taken down. Surprise. Don't want to tread on anyone's toes or IP, so uh, this is just an experiment to see how well 3D printing works when replacing something on here which needs to be fairly durable. Now, let's get on and see if we can't print ourselves some awesome dual sense face plates on my Ender 3 and on my LD002R Creality Resin Printer. That name still rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Before we do, however, Thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed over the last few weeks. Loads more of you. Welcome to the family. 3D Printed Soup loves you. If you're not part of the 3D Printed Soup family, drag your cursor down. Off to the right, there you go. Red button says subscribe. Give that a click. Minimum effort for you. Maximum happiness for my channel. Help us grow. Help us develop. One of us. One of us. One of us. Also got a Patreon if you fancy supporting the channel because 3D printing is really expensive. Plus also, you get extra stuff and you get to make suggestions of what I should print next. No pressure. So, let's get printing ourselves some DualSense PlayStation 5 controller faceplate goodness. Let's give us a try. Okay, with the front plate painted and printed, it's time to remove the plate from the DualSense controller. Easy thing to do, but for God's sake, I've watched a couple of videos now on YouTube and please, please, please do not use a flathead screwdriver or any kind of metal implement to do this. Use any kind of plastic implement. I'm using a guitar plectrum. It's easy and it won't cause any damage. Just insert it in the base, give it a twist, like so, and then on the other prong as well, like so, easy as pie, and you won't cause any damage. For God's sake, do not use metal on plastic. Just pop it in and just carefully remove each one of the little clasps inside, lift and put it out and there we go. 
put that aside for a second. This is the original. And this is my 3D printed version. Not much of a difference. But let's have a quick look at the back. All of the clips are in the right places. And yet they all seem to be at the right angles, so I'm not too worried about this. The uh, bits that clip onto the end of the arms, they seem to be at the same angle and they seem to be the same shape. So, now for the moment of truth. We'll put that aside safely. Controller there. And just insert the two prongs at the top. Like so, put it over, line it up, and clip them in. Okay, and that looks beautiful. That has gone in, it's clipped all the way around. Bits that have clipped in, bits that have clipped in. Yep, there is no gaps that I can see. And that is a 3D printed bronze faceplate for the DualShock PS5 controller. It feels hard wearing, it all works. There's no clicking, the PlayStation button fits through and Yep, it's just turn my PlayStation on. Yeah, this is lovely and printed in resin. It's tough, it's smooth, and with the hard wearing spray paint, it's, yeah, really, really good. Controls go all the way around. They're not touching the edge, they're not catching on it at all. Connect to the bottom work. Buttons are pressable. Yep, can turn the mute on and off. Very, very happy with that. Oh, that looks great. I can't wait to print a few more of these off and do a few different colors, but uh, at the moment, this bronzy gold one is looking fantastic. Yeah, very, very happy with that. That is very, very cool. So yeah, you can 3D print a PlayStation 5 controller faceplate very, very easily. Really quite amazed about how all that came out. It's printed beautifully. All of the little clips and all the little hooks and all the little tabs inside pretty much match the uh, original faceplate exactly and this thing has clipped on the front here really really well. There's very few gaps, it all lines up. I mean just around the bottom here there's a little bit of uh, warping but uh, with a few extra supports on there I think we can get that down perfectly with the next print. The paint is applied to it very very nicely and it's given this sort of nice sort of lined effect as well it almost looks sort of like wood grain but uh, yeah the ability to print face plates for my dual sense controller for my PlayStation 5 is amazing. I can do any colors I want now I can do any designs that I like not quite sure about the legality of this, so I won't be selling these or offering them online, but uh, for my own personal use, this is absolutely great. It can really, really set my uh, PS5 apart. All I need to do now is work out how to print the face plates, but uh, I'm happy with the white ones at the moment. But being able to do gold or red or green ones is a really, really cool thing. And yeah, 
Now you might be wondering to yourselves, when I first started this, you were doing it on a filament printer. What the hell happened to that? That happened to that. This is just terrible. It, I mean, look at that. It just snaps. It is weak. The layer lines look awful. This design here was not good for printing out on the end of three. And resin just feels so much nicer as well. It's smooth. It's, there's no layer lines to it. It fits perfectly and it's much, much stronger than if you do PLA with layer lines on it because PLA just, I mean, that, that break, I don't put any force in that. That just breaks off straight away. And this, when you clip it on, has to be slightly flexible. That's a bit rigid. Resin, however, is slightly flexible, so it does the job beautifully. And I'm looking forward to doing a load of different colors and a load of different designs. I'll do an update on that when I've done a few more of these. But for now, this is one of the best 3D prints I think I probably ever done. I can't give links to the person who actually created this because I think Sony have taken them down offline. And um, so unfortunately, I can't give you the links to the file here, but uh, yeah, very, very happy with this. And as a proof of concept, it's great to see that you can actually 3D print controller face plates at home for your PlayStation 5, which is brilliant because everyone loves modding their stuff. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you're in the position to help the channel grow, I've got a Patreon as well. Thanks so much for watching. Stay happy, stay safe, keep gaming.